hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 17th, 18th and 19th of May. And I'm going to pick uh, a card from the uh, Soul Purpose Lessons. I think they're called from Sonia Chiquette. And um, I've got Count Your Blessings. <laughs> I can't believe that. I should believe it. I should know by now. Okay, so the universe always responds. The, re the universe is always responding to our requests. So we've requested at the beginning of this week to look at gratitude. And here we are. This is the soul lesson for Friday. Count your blessings. So wherever you are in your week, just really take stock of everything that you have. In fact, if it helps, do an inventory of everything that you feel grateful for. Everything that makes you feel really, really blessed blessed and that can be I would start with people start with the people you really really love that you really really know are there for you the people who are just oh you know just just make you come alive when you think about them make your heart explode when you think about them about the joy that they bring into your life or just the, the I mean okay I am very grateful for you first of all I have to say that and I know it might sound sloppy but I know what I mean by that and I know how it makes me feel when I say it because I am just really, really grateful for all of the connections that I've been making with you. I'm grateful for all of your lovely comments. I'm grateful for the fact that I'm able to reach you. I'm just really grateful that this is making a difference to you. And um, I, would, I would count those as blessings, first of all. And so that's starting with people. And then I would also look at the people you're close to, the people who really, really... Um, come into your life every day the people who are there for you every day even if you don't feel they're there for you you love them and you can be there for them and you can have gratitude that you are learning about how to become more loving because they're in your life and then maybe look at things gifts and talents that you have um, character traits that you have you can be grateful for the fact that you're very loving or that you have a great sense of humor or that you are you know you somehow manage to be, remain optimistic throughout um, adversity or adverse situations you can be grateful for the books that you have you, you can be grateful that you love to read or that you can read even I'm sure there are people who can't read you, well we know there are people who can't read there are probably people in our education system who can't read because, uh, well, I'm not going to go into that right now, but we're going to start with counting our blessings on Friday. And I know everyone has blessings. So that was just to start you off, just in case you're going to say, well, I can't really think of any blessings. I don't think anyone listening to this would say that anyway, but that's the card for Friday. So for Saturday, um, let's have a message. I feel like it's time to have a daily guidance message again. So for Saturday, um, we are going to say focus on service. Service and gratitude are very, very close the way that I'm feeling them both at the moment because just kind of feeling into my heart, feeling what happens when I think about service and when I think about gratitude, they kind of light up in a similar place. I'd be very intrigued to know what research is being done in terms of what happens to the chakras when we think certain thoughts. You know, we've uh, scientists have been looking at the brain for a very long time, but I'd be intrigued to know what actually happens to the heart when we think about service or when we think about gratitude. I'm sure I know someone's gonna post under this video that, that it's already been done and I'd love to hear about it. So focus on service. The card says, your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Well, that's a great card to have for Saturday because it's just... It really says so much and I love the, the picture as well. I love the way that this picture, the, the rays that are coming from this being on this unicorn are just reaching so far out and they're touching so many things and so many people and sometimes we're not even aware of what our consciousness is doing. We're not even aware of how many people we are reaching, how many people we are touching and helping to transform or supporting in their transformation. We don't always see it. We don't, you know, we put these little ripples out and 
we're not always aware of the effect that they have on people. So to Saturday is going to be a really good day to focus on that and to move away from our self-consciousness about the things that we're worried about, the things that we get stressed about, the things that we think are not going to work out, the things that we think can't be done for us, the things that we think our guides are not helping us with. Get away from all of that today and think, well, okay, if love is loving... If the experience of love is actually the experience of loving, who can I love today? Who can I serve today? Rather than wondering whether I'm going to be saved, who can I save? And I don't mean that in a dysfunctional, codependent way. Please, psychotherapists, don't post any messages. We all know that we've come a long way away from just being able to love and serve openly from a place of compassion because we've analysed the heck out of it. One of my guides has just said, excuse their language. We've just analysed loving and caring and compassion too much. So today, Saturday is going to be a good day to bringing that back to the truth of, OK, I'm not going to go out there and try to get love today. I'm going to give love. And in doing so, I am going to be in the loving vibration. It's it's really miraculous how that works. So if you have a way of volunteering or becoming a part of a volunteering project or anything like that, I would say Saturday is going to be a great day to go for that. And Sunday, right, I want to give you something that's a little bit more personal now. Um, and uh, we've got the Ascended MasterCard. So for Sunday, clear and shield your energy. Right, so we've had that quite a lot this week as well. And the reason I'm feeling that is because... <laughs> One of my guides is saying some of us could be in a much better space in terms of our ability or not to be optimistic, to be brighter, to be more positive about what we are intending or expecting in the future. And the reason that we're not is because we are attracting or rather we are holding too much external energy of the consciousness of fear that's all pervading around us at the moment and not only this of going into spaces where we are bringing light and yet we are also sometimes extracting the darkness unconsciously not not you know deliberately so it's very important for us to be aware of how to clear our energy field and to do it regularly as well. Okay, we are still moving towards that frequency that we want to create on earth. We're not there yet. We're still moving towards heaven on earth. We are manifesting it. We are intending it. We're not there yet. So there's still work to be done. So just become more aware on Sunday of how to clear your energy field and let go of anything that's stopping you from feeling more positive, more optimistic. Let's assume for Sunday then, and I know how hard this is because I forget this myself. We get so convinced that this is this is real, whatever this thing is. You know, when we get into one of those places of, of stuckness or limitation, we need to remind ourselves, okay, let's just assume, as I was going to say, yeah, I haven't forgotten. Let's just assume that we are naturally bright, positive, optimistic, happy, loving, lucky even people. Let's assume that. Let's start there. If there's anything going on within you right now telling you that things are otherwise, you need to clear your energy. Okay, and I know how simplistic that might sound and even how unrealistic because I know there are real circumstances that are causing us to sometimes feel uh, helpless or a little bit down. But we are never, ever beyond help, ever. So what we need to do is to rem get back into a place where we remember this, where we can believe and understand this again. Because when we don't believe and understand this, we don't ask for help and it's very hard for our guides and the angels to help us. So in other words, what they're saying is when we get into a place where we don't believe that good things are possible, good things become less possible, not only from the perspective of what we're manifesting, but also from the perspective of when we become hopeless, we stop asking for help and there is no way for them to give us the hope that we need to make us stronger. So clear your energy. If there's any bleakness or negativity around you today, clear your energy, get back into a positive space and ask for help to deal with the practicalities in front of you that may have caused or contributed to that bleakness. So that's for Sunday. Gosh, 
that was fairly in depth and I'm going to just choose something from the secret language of colour cards today and I hope it's something really bright and cheerful so I'm going to just choose an extra card for Sunday to just start you know people off into the week ahead okay develop mental clarity which is really the same thing as what we've just said about clearing our energy don't be duped <laughs> I love that word my guide is saying don't be duped by the frequencies, by the abundance of frequencies available to you. Choose your frequency. And when you feel you're not in choice, get back into a place of choice and develop clarity. And that's all they're saying. And the card says the rest. So enjoy that, have a great weekend and get really clear on Sunday because it will help you through the rest of the week ahead. Okay, thanks for listening everyone. Take care and I'll see you next week.